So in my last video, um, what we did was we created this function here called create slides post type. And if I moved a little too quickly, I'll go ahead and review what happened. Um, we registered the slide post type so that we can create slides for our homepage slider. And the way we did that was we added a hook onto the init function for WordPress. And uh, our function was called create slides post type. And within that, uh, we set up a few um, arguments or parameters for the register post type function. Uh, the first one here, you can see we have an area called labels. And what we did was we labeled all of the uh, editing options for uh, the slide. So when you're logged into WordPress and you want to add a new slide, uh, you'll see all of these here. Add new. Okay, and then uh, these get passed through the labels uh, argument here under this area. And um, that's pretty much it. Uh, we took away all of the support features, and by that I mean we took away the editor and the featured image and the author and all that stuff because uh, it's not going to be like a traditional post type. Uh, it's just going to be something we loop through to make images appear on our home page. Um, the next thing we're going to do is close that and we need to add the fields to this page here as you can see all we have is a title um, if we visit our site you'll see that we need a couple of things actually just three we need the title which is already uh, we already have there so we really just need to create two fields one called caption and we'll create another field called image and then we'll use advanced custom fields to uh, retrieve those let's go ahead and do that um, I'm going to add a new field group and we're just going to call it slide options and we need two fields we'll create one called um, slide caption and then uh, we'll let that auto populate and we'll make it a um, why don't we make it a text area and then we'll put enter the caption Oops. Uh, for this slide, I don't know. And then uh, default none formatting. We'll leave it at. Uh, I guess auto would be fine. And then we'll close that. And then we'll add another field. We'll call it slide image. And then. Let that auto populate, and then we'll make this an image. And put add a or add an image for the slide. And let's see, why don't we use the image URL because that might be easier. Um, preview size, thumbnail, library, all. And we'll close this. And then down here, we need to select our slides post type because we only want it to show up on there. So we'll put slide. And how about we just put a standard meta box, normal, and that's that's good. We'll publish that. And then on our slides, we'll go to add new. Now you can see we can add a caption and we can add. Uh, an image. So I'll put here slide one, and here is my slide one caption. And then for an image, um, why don't I select files? I'll just use the same ones that I have. Where is it? Names. Image. Oh, that's right. I'm using placeholder images. Um, I'll tell you what. Why don't I just go ahead and stop this video now, and I'll go get some cool images. And what you can do is uh, create the next two slides, or however many slides you want. It doesn't matter. And in the next video, um, I'll have some cool images, and then we'll loop through them. So I'll leave that to you. Go ahead and create a couple more slides, and then find some images, and let's go ahead and make them. How big are these? 
Okay, I don't know. Just big enough to fit inside here. And then uh, we'll loop through them and put them up on the homepage. Uh, thanks for watching.